All right, people, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So, once again, today is Tuesday, and that means that we're using a Labradite Ebel. Uh, looked over the deck before jumping in, and I was like, eh, it looks fine to me. Like, on paper, it looks fine. Let's go ahead and see how it plays. I thought I, I, thought I had some idea about what cha uh, changes that I wanted to do, but I decided, eh, forget it, I'm not going to do it. So, or, I can't really remember what the change was, so. <laughs> Screw it, we'll just jump right into a duel. Anyway, this hand's actually pretty good. I have no complaints from this hand, actually. No complaints. Actually, one complaint. Well, the complaint is that i got to use my Rota, the search for Dark to get the Maui out of my hand, when I would much rather prefer to not use it, so I, when I can, I could do the Maui Sun and Doom combo, and I, and I do my, my uh, Labradite play. I mean, not my Labradite play. Well, yeah, my Labradite play, but most of my play, I have something to set, because right now I have nothing to set. So, yeah, that sucks, but that's what I'm going to do Dark Graffer. Like that, that is a given. I need this aggressor. I said, I wish I, I wish I'd have got a little bit more revival. Revival in this deck's really good, and clearly I didn't get any. So, might just go discard special. Discard. I don't even know. There's, none of these guys can really help me. I guess I can go ahead and. Oh wait, wait. Never mind. I have emerald. I'm an idiot. I have emerald. Yeah, I can do the play. All right. So, discard. Special, gotta love them. Put your effect on, pitch. Go ahead and send, I guess we'll go ahead and send everybody since we can. But yeah, because we have that goose armor, that totally works. Right. Um, thinking about sending clear. <sighs> if I get dark hold though. See, see, that's the problem. If you, send, if, if you summon clear, you get dark hold. It's a hard, right, right, it's over. But if you summon beals, and Beals gets one I want to cast out, then it's also over. So, the snuggles, the snuggles. I think I'll summon Beals. I think I'll summon Beals. So, we'll overlay these two. Once again, fucking Dagustar Emo being a goddamn boss. Emerald effect, detach. Go ahead and summon my normal monster, of course, being Labradite. Mally effect. I'm just talking, I was just like, oh no, I can't do it. Like, oh yeah, I can, because of Emerald. Yeah. It's one of them, uh, Oh good, now I was gonna draw a Mally too? Like no thank you. Don't wanna draw him. Yeah, I'll go into Beals because uh set, set. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Beals. Because if he draw if he has a Regeki or Dark Hole, then I'm screwed. Yeah, you know, I'm absolutely gonna lose this duel. Wow. If he does go into like an XC rank four XC play, then he has to, not only does he have to, you know, spin back bills, but he has to choose between killing one of these two. You know, if he kills him, then I get him. If he kills him, I get him. Yeah, bills. Or one level 7 or level 8 dragon type synchro monster. What are you talking about, a power tool? No. No. I don't want power tool. It doesn't have to be power tool. It can be power tool. You can special summon one power tool synchro monster or one level. You're just reading like the first part of it. Like you're not even reading the end part. I want Beals. Beals is a level eight dragon type synchro monster. Exactly, exactly, Beals. It is a level eight dragon type Synchro Monster. Finish reading the damn sentence. Oh my god. Finish reading the sentence. I spelled sentence wrong. Finish reading it. You're just reading. You can special summon power tool. That's it. Finish reading the sentence. Or a level 7 or 8 dragon type synchro monster from your extra deck. I want Beals. Who is a level 8 dragon synchro monster. Like, holy shit, I don't know why you're yelling at me, power tool. I don't want fucking power tool. Fucking scrub. Fucking scrub. Like, you can't even fucking read. Like, wow. Nigga can't even fucking read. Fucking retarded. I'm sorry. You, you, you're, you're selective reading. You're fucking retarded ass selective reading. Like, read, nigga, read. Don't just pick out what you want to read. You, yes, the power tool. Now, continue reading. It's not the end of the sentence. It doesn't say, I can only summon a power tool. No. 
God, fucking scrubs. Fucking noob fucking scrubs. Like, wow. This hand is terrible. This hand is pretty bad. Actually, no, it's not. Actually, no, it's not, because Dark Reffer. Summon a monk pitch. One of my revival cards. Summon Dark Reffer. Dark Reffer pitch pitch. Go into Emerald. Emerald detach. Summon Labradite. Mally. Yep, yep, yep. This hand's fun. This hand is totally fun. It sucks that I can't get both of them out of my hand. But this hand is fun. I, I'd say... I said that's the worst thing that I drew both of them, but I'm thankful that I drew, you know, one of them because I'm glad I'm thankful that I drew Labradite because now I can do my play that I did last last duel or attempted to do before my opponent just decided to be a fucking scrub. So I'm definitely gonna go into Beals because my opponent doesn't have an extra deck, which is just like, mm. so I'm gonna phase one of course. I said it sucks that it's only once per turn. Yeah, once per turn you could discard. You know, it's not like, hey, keep on using his effect, right? Go ahead and go into Emerald. Go ahead and have Emerald effect, detach. Go ahead and summon Labradite. Now we effect. We'll go ahead and banish Mali, summon Mali. Go into an Ultimaya set. My Silver's Cry. Yep. But it's not just Xyz. Synchro Shokan. Altamaya. Set. Effect. Some bills. Go ahead. Love that play. Love that play. You know, it's totally worth the, the replacement of Plaguelicious Bell because I could do everything that Plaguelicious B Bell did and more. And in a more convoluted and fun way. <laughs> you know, it just sucks that I drew you Bell and need another Dark Greffer, of course. Okay, that's fine. So, Archines. I give out Archines. That was yesterday. <laughs> you better hope that I don't draw another spell or trap. Okay. Ooh. So that's plus 1500, so he's at 3400? Yeah. 3,400. Well, now I can't go for another Altamaya, because I need the Emerald to go. Oh, yeah, I guess with Silver's Cry, I could. Yeah, yeah. Depending on what I draw, I'll take 1,400, because you're at 3,400. I'm dead. Yeah. Depending on, if I draw another card that I can set, then I will totally go for another Altamaya, because I'll go ahead and summon another Altamaya, set the card, and I'll get two summons. So... We'll go ahead and do that. If I get draw another card, like I said. It's any 34. It's any 1500 plus 1900. Equals. Oh, where's the equal sign? There we go. 3400. Minus 18. 1600. My bad. My bad. My bad. My math was wrong. My math is wrong. My bad. My bad. My bad. My math was wrong. Okay, and then he goes up by 300. So now he is 3,700. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yep, yep. So, yep. So, uh, 3,700. Yep, 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 let's do this play. So, uh, we'll definitely go ahead and go Mali Effect. Damn it. Mali Effect. Go ahead and banish this Mali. Summon another Mali. Silver Scry. Revive you. Ooh, what's this do? When your opponent's supposed to, I'm about to say, like really? Like that's not gonna do anything. Synchro Shokan with my second Ultimaya. Set. Both effects. I'm gonna go ahead and Oh, this is game. This is game. Yeah, I win. Maybe. Maybe, just because of that card that he has. Yeah, I'm summoning two scrap dragons. Sure. 
Uh, when your opponent's with uh, half their uh, attack. So they're both half because they're summoned simultaneously. Are they summoned simultaneously? No, no. Only. No, they're not. Only one is. Only one is. Only one is. Yep. That's fine. Uh, scrap effect. Target deals. And your monster. So, free pop. I do not know why that card went back to your hand. It's resolved. It's not a continuous trap. Whatever. I'll let you keep it there. So, sure, monster. What is equipable? I don't understand what you're saying is equipable. That's gone, that's gone, this is gone. Second, scrap effect, target deals, and field spell. Type in field, freel, freel. Uh, no, 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 it does not quit, it just resolves. Resolves. And goes to break. I think this is a game. 3,028. 3, 3, it's 50, 58, of course. 58. This is only 14. No, I don't think that's a game. I do not think that's a game, actually. Scrap effect. Okay, there we go. E -E -O -Z -E. Yeah, that's what I saw. Alright, so, attack 14. Yeah, that's not game. Well, you lose another turn, but I got two scraps of beals and two freaking ultimize on the field. Like that that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Spaghetti would be nice though, kill my scrap dragons. I should kill my ultimize too. This card cannot be targeted for attacks or card effects, so I control your single monster, but I can still totally be just be killed, uh, non targeting wise. So Regeki would wipe everybody but Beals. That would suck. Over these two into a Felgram? <laughs> I said the only thing that sucks about this deck is that if I don't, as of course through ultimate effect, I'm not summoning monsters properly. So cards like you know, Call the Haunted and Oasis don't fucking work. I say that's like the worst part of this fucking this uh, deck. You know, there's other synchro decks like such so super vice. You know, if you kill my bills or something and sent to grave, but I, yeah, I can go. Ahead. It was summoned properly. I synchro summoned, so I can go ahead and you know summon uh, them back with Call the Haunted or Oasis, but not this deck. So, anyway, we'll go ahead and get this last duel. Duel gets a higher rated opponent, more difficult opponent. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. Hmm. Think, 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 think. I don't think I can pull up a first turn. I could pull up a first turn Leo. Yeah, I could do Leo, but not, not Ultimaya. Unless I use Soul Charge, which I don't plan on doing, so. Actually, why not use Soul Charge in the first turn? It's like the best time to fucking use it. <laughs> the best time to wear striped sweaters all the time, right? Hmm. Yeah. So, I'll probably just go ahead and search for Armageddon again tonight. Then summon Dark Graffer, Dark Graffer, Pitch, send, uh, uh, Labradorite, Swing, Summon, and go into a Leo. The next time I can summon Armageddon tonight, send. Actually, you know what? It might not be best to go ahead and do that play this time, but take the duel slow. You know, Leo's nice and all, but I don't really have the resources to be doing that play right now, so I'll just take the duel slow. Because next turn, I can definitely go for uh, an Ultimaya play. So, I can summon you. Activate your effect. Pitch the bell. Send. Labradite. The next turn I'll go on again and I send Mali, then revive with swing, Mali, and uh, set the soul charge, and there you go. So, depending on how hard he goes, like I said, he's a higher, much higher rated duelist than what we've been doing, so I'm assuming that, you know, we're not going to squeeze by him. He's actually going to give us a challenge, so. 
It sucks because I opened up the worst out of all three duels, and I'm going against arguably the strongest opponent. Like I said, he has a 15 card extra deck, 40 card deck, so it definitely seems like he knows what he's doing. Oh, and he's playing this deck, of course. Of course. Everybody and their mother's playing this deck, so. Here we go. I'm getting real sick and tired of seeing this deck. Yeah. You know? I'm not even going to allow my tag partners on Dewey Duels to even play this deck just because I'm tired of seeing it. It's getting really old real quick. It's a fine deck. I'm just getting kind of bored with it. So, I get to go ahead and add two magicians, and I can't destroy scale. I said, any pendu pendulum mechanic in general is busted, you know? I mean, for goodness sake, I'm picking up Cleese, like, still busted. I'm just waiting for that ban list. Like, can I get that ban list already? <laughs> oh. So. And I said, this is the last duel, win or lose, so. Which, at this point, I'll probably lose. trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So, there's one magician. What's the other magician you're going to add? This man is taking forever. Depending on if he summons Lloyd, maybe. Maybe I can bait him out with. Uh, okay, that's your other magician. Maybe I can bait him out with the swing or something. Soul charge works too. I'll we'll summon Armageddon Knights and Mally, then try attempt to do my effects and if he stops me then it's fine you know so. Mm -hmm. so when this card is summoned you just get to add a performer pal slash magician slash odd ice and it's an 18 beater god that's powerful that's super powerful I think of like you pretty much just to get to search for the core of your deck. 1800 beater too? Like, wow. I wonder if Yuya's deck is going to turn into this, because this deck is actually really powerful. So. Gonna go ahead and search my odd eyes. Pendulum scale setting. I wonder if he's literally just gonna fucking OTK the living shit out of me with, uh, what's its face? With Absolute. Not Absolute. Uh, Odd-Eyes Rebellion Dragon. I think he possibly could, especially with this guy. Odd eyes. Okay, maybe I should have went for the Leo. There's this guy. Okay, so he's not going to get his effect because there is nothing in there. Oh, he's just going to run my ass over and I'm going to take a crap ton of damage. So, 800. 1800. And 21. Damn, I got my ass beat. Yeah, I got my face smashed in. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Sad thing is, of course, this pendulum, with this pendulum scale set, he can just keep pendulum summoning them. Oh, yeah. Let's attempt to do something. So, got 2,500 left, so I might maybe use the soul charge, possibly. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, if I exiton him, that would be terrible. Yeah. What do I have in my graveyard? Yeah. Go for exiton and swing. Set the call. Yeah. 
Fuck it. Let's go for let's just push for Exiton. And some na some Nali. Soul charge. Uh, target Greffer. Right. Okay, that's fine. I still get the effect, so. Yeah, really, that's all I care about is getting the effect. Clear up some pendulum scales. Still in his deck. I was like, is it warding? No, the other one is bottomless. He should have bottomless Mike and Greffer. He should have saw that coming. He should have saw the coming, the play coming. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and activate swing. Go ahead and summon lab. Now the effect. Yeah, as soon as I win soul charge target Greffer and I summon Greffer and you saw... You saw, you clearly saw I had two level fours on the field. I would have bottomless immediately as soon as Dark Greffer was summoned. Like, I wouldn't allow that shit. Like, fuck that. You're gonna ex-ton me. I gave him all the time in the world. I said it's okay. Shit. In fact, let's go for a clear wing. No. Beals. Because clear wing, he could just pendulum summon and crash into Beals. He can't even get over. Wild Ogre is nice, too. Yeah, let's go for Wild Ogre. Fuck it. Fuck it. Now if he even activates one of his pendulum scales, I could just be like, alright, Void Ogre negate. So Also if he top decks his fucking uh Otto's Fusion. So Void Ogre is the correct choice. Nice. Return draw. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I think that's game. Yeah, this is game. No. No, it's not. No, yeah, it is. It is. It is. Activate Call of the Haunted, summon back uh Labradite. Mally effect, summon, set, both of them go off, summon, summon, tack, 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 game. Yep, I win. Awesome. Unless he has something to block my attack, of course. But yeah, he misplayed. He misplayed. He should have totally played the 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 bottomless on my Greffer summon. He should have saw that coming. I had an Armageddon Knight. I had a Mally. I mean, I had a Dark Greffer. He should have known. I guess he was like, let me go ahead and, you know, hit the monster that he's going to summon with bottomless. But, you know, next time. So, you guys go ahead. Go into another Ultimaya. Set. Both effects. I'll go ahead. Yep. There you go. Whew! I actually beat I actually beat fucking the shit because he didn't he didn't play his bottomless right. Damn, you, you had it. It's like summon, pay a thousand, summon dark graph, and you win. Bottomless. And I was like, alright, sir, that sucks. That sucks. It hurts. But I, I would of course be able to still do my plays, of course. But I was still went to a Beals and did all that but whew. anyway i'm gonna go ahead and call that an episode so i hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of i'm um, sorry i didn't get Edel involved in the duel but i really didn't need her more well to my place so uh thanks for watching thanks for all the support and i will see you guys tomorrow with you about seas all right people thanks for watching